want to automate on SAP GUI with any automation platform or programming language, first you'll need to enable the SAP client-side and server-side scripting. And that's what we'll learn on today's tutorial. So to enable first the client-side scripting, you need to go over options. So after doing login, will appear this screen and click here to go to options. And then here on accessibility is scripting, go to scripting and make sure you enable scripting and uncheck these options and then uh, confirm. And after enabling the client side, so that was the client side scripting, let's enable the server side scripting. So to enable server side scripting, we need to execute the transaction RZ11. And here, let's search for the parameter SAP GUI slash user underscore scripting and click on display. And from here, let's press change value. And so here we can see current value true. So that means that on my side, the server side scripting is enabled. If on your side shows as false, here on new value, set true. And just confirm by clicking on this button. And with that, we have server side and client side scripting enabled. And so now you can automate on SAP GUI. If you want to learn more about automating SAP, make sure you check out my channel. I have many tutorials around that topic. So I'll see you now on the next tutorial.